Alright, okay. Alright. <laughs> Goku just kicked the shit out of this woman. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, poor May. Oh, that's actually. Ah, uh, Trunks really is not funny. gonna like that. Oh! What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well done. She was getting ready. She was finally getting serious, and he just. Dragon Ball is one of the most popular animes in the world. It was incredibly influential in making Japanese animation popular in the West. Uh, most people are familiar with Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z started as Dragon Ball, uh, which was a little less action focused. Uh, it was more about martial arts and it started out as a parody of the Chinese novel Journey to the West. So the movie that we watched today is based on that early Dragon Ball stuff and it's called Dragon Ball Fight Son Goku Win Son Goku. Great title. And uh, this movie is great, isn't it Ethan? Sure. Sure it is. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, <laughs> oh my! Uh, that was that was better than the show. In the show, she only has like a little gun. Here, she has a fucking machine gun. <laughs> oh the first hour of this is like really, really faithful, like beat by beat, shot for shot. It's actually really impressive. I was shocked at how faithful this was. It's like. Way more faithful than Dragon Ball Evolution, the Hollywood version. Oh yeah, that... I mean, I, I will start by saying that this movie is so much better than Dragon Ball Evolution. I am Goku. I am Ozaru. To be a one with myself, I must be two. This was made in South Korea at a time when... This was 1990. This is like when Korea was still kind of coming out of its, like, recession and, like, they were trying to do movies. Uh, I think they chose an IP that was maybe doing well in, like, the animation, but then they didn't really think about, like, implementation. They and, also didn't have the rights to it. Yeah. This so is illegal. This is a bootleg this film. This is probably why you mentioned that it's like 200 bucks for... Oh, a oh yeah, this movie is kind of... It's almost impossible to find online. Uh, and to actually get a physical copy, you can pretty much only get it on eBay for like 200 bucks. It's kind of nuts. So it's... For this movie! I <laughs> Oh, what is happening? What is going on? Okay, what is? Catch a ride on the turtle. Yeah, like, is he fly? Like, what? Is... Oh, my God. Well, let's talk about the characters, because we have our main man, Goku, or our main kid, Goku. I actually like this kid actor a lot, uh, and his look, he looks all right. Except looks... for, like, his nose? Like, what the hell? Yeah, okay, yeah, that, 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 that is true. He has something up his nose. What is up with his nose? That, like, why did they feel the need to do that? They, like, he's got something there, right? Not yeah. just the whole... They, like, stuffed something into his nose for, like, effect. I don't know what effect, but... <laughs> So the story is pretty much, you know, beginning of Dragon Ball, Goku meets Bulma and they go on a quest for the Dragon Balls and Bulma is pretty much exactly the same as she is in the manga. What? <laughs> what just happened? Wasn't he supposed to... Nah, this, like, 
she was supposed to show him her pussy. Uh, oh, but, right. Yeah, but that they didn't establish that, so that's not what happened. So instead, it's just a kiss. something else happened. Fuck this Master Roshi. This Master Roshi is awful. He is. Th awful. This Master Roshi. I mean, first of all, he has dreadlocks, so he looks like like an old stoner hippie. But he's a creep. He's, he's a creep, and you can you can say that the original Roshi is a creep. But I don't know. Maybe it's because he's an anime character. There's more, you know, charm to it. But this Roshi is just really creepy, and the scenes with him are disturbing. She's 16. I mean, I think it's not as bad in other cultures, but still. No, this is pretty bad. This is, pretty bad. <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh, stop it! <laughs> no! No more of this! This has to stop! Uh, no! No! No, the he. Oh, I don't like his face. He's also a fucking dick. He he's got a turtle, and the turtle looks awesome. I love the turtle. I, I but Master it. Roshi treats it like shit. And I mean, he kind of does that in the manga and anime, but here they take it to a whole other degree, where he just keeps punching him. In the manga, he's supposed to. It's supposed to be like uh, an elderly couple arguing most of the time between the turtle and Master Roshi. But here, it's just like domestic violence. It's like, domestic abuse. Yes. Yeah. Let's talk about Oolong. Because there's a lot to unpack with Oolong. Oolong is a, a pig that's a shapeshifter, and that's kind of all you need to know about him as far as the anime and manga go. And this is pretty close to that. Uh, the only difference is that Oolong looks like a nightmare. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look at him! Oh my god, that... It, it, it feels like something just went inside my brain and hurt it. Krillin is not in this because Krillin is not a part of the story uh, that they're adapting. But it feels like they still wanted a Krillin character. So they just made Oolong that character. So Oolong can just do all kinds of crazy shit. <laughs> No! We've never even established yeah. that Oolong could do that! Okay. Okay, Oolong can do the Kamehameha, I guess. Well, yeah. <laughs> and let's talk about Yamcha. Uh, Yamcha is a joke in the Dragon Ball fandom because he's a useless character. This is the most amazing Yamcha that there has ever been. This Yamcha is a badass. Even though he has comedic moments, he stays awesome the entire time. He has a, an awesome Mad Max type car that has no brakes, so in order to stop it, he has to get out of the car and get in front of it and hold it to stop its momentum. And not only does he do that with the car, but at the end, it turns out he can call that car via telepathy and it can fly to him and it flies around shooting energy beams at an enemy. I can't explain what happens. He just has a magical car. You had a sword. Yeah, you got a sword! What are you doing? He's gonna stab him with the- Oh, okay! Oh! 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 That was the best Yamcha oh moment gosh. ever, by far! Holy shit! Pilaf is the villain in this, and he he's not in it for most of the movie till the end. Uh, for the first hour, the movie is like an extremely fateful adaptation of the beginning of Dragon Ball. And then, in the last half hour, it turns into insanity. Oh. My god. Oh, shit! Oh! Okay, this, this movie just became worth it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the climax of the movie. I mean, I guess we... Since we've seen the original one, we kinda know what's happening. They're trying to stop Pilaf from using the Dragon Balls. But why are they at Disney World? I don't know. Why is Pilaf shooting energy lightning out of his hands and... Yeah, Pilaf, they don't explain what Pilaf is. He's just evil bad guy with fire powers. 
I can't believe this is not more known. This is incredible. <laughs> it's like, what are they doing? Really painful to watch. Ethan, would you recommend... What the fuck is this called? Dragon Ball, win Son Goku, fight Son Goku, whatever the fuck it's called. Would you recommend it? I, from the bottom of my heart, and from my country, and for my countrymen, hell no. Gun to the head, if you were to tell me evolution or this film, yes, I would pick this film. But, in respect to all Dragon Ball films, and anything around that franchise, no. Some of it is so good, though. Some of it is, like, so impressive. Like, I can't believe how faithful it was, and I really appreciate that. And I did really enjoy some of their effects. Like, all of their flips are great. The Nimbus Cloud is great. Uh, the Kamehameha looks pretty good. Uh, Shenron! Oh my god, we haven't talked about Shenron. Shenron looks amazing. So, I'm gonna give this this movie a rating of three Dragon Balls, each with three stars, for a value of nine stars out of 28. Ethan, what do you rate this movie? I rate this movie, I wanna say, two and a half Nimbus Clouds with the side of women's panties. So, yeah, we'll see you some other time. Me and Ethan are gonna get right out of here. Goodbye. No, no, you did. You did do the thing. Do, oh, I do, do. do this. Do do the instant transmission so we can like oh. teleport out of here. Okay. Goodbye.